Sonic's Green Hills Adventures Season 2 Chapter 7 A Chaotic Lunch Break Sonic's Point of View I was able to calm down as we arrived at the music room knowing Shadow knew about Jade and Veronica's return. My only hope was that they changed and learned their lesson. Hey Marina, you're not going to believe what just happened in gym class. I said as we walked over to her. Really try me and tell me every single detail. Marina said excitedly and challengingly. Sim is here, he was in my gym class and he was everything Dip said he is. I replied and then told her the rest of what happened. Who so you did pretty much what you did at the piston pit? Marina asked with an amused look on her face. Pretty much yeah I did. Dib said Sim is stubborn, so it was the most effective way to tell him his disguise wasn't necessary. I said confidently. Well let's try it that new son. Marina said dramatically. Well I wanted to keep the total of it a surprise but let's wait till after school so we can do it with Shadow on show Dib and Gaz. I added quickly. Oh you my bad. Marina replied sheepishly in agreement. So do you know that Jade and Veronica are back? I asked carefully. Yep, Jessica texted me too, but don't worry, Sonic, we won't give them any unintentional chances to do that crap to you nor Shadow ever again, we promise. Marina told me reassuringly and full of determination. Thanks, guys, I don't know where I nor Shadow would be without you and our family. I said as I started to hug her, Crystal and Joey, into a group hug. Then we headed to lunch. When we got in line, we saw Jessica, Dib, Gaz, and Shadow waiting for us. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I asked as we walked up to them. Well, I'm nervous about Jade and Veronica. They seem like they haven't changed at all. Jessica replied shackly. Wait, who are they? Bib asked curiously. They're Jessica's ex-friends. They're the reason I met Shadow by getting me captured by the government and taken to gun headquarters, where Shadow was being held captive. Then when we returned, they arrested us. As punishment, they were arrested and expelled. I explained seriously. Oh, I see. I understand why you're freaking out. But don't worry, we have you about. Dib said full of determination. Thanks, Dib, we appreciate this. I sat in relief. Sim's point of view. As I entered the cave theory, my eyes fell on Sonic and another anthropomorphic hedgehog. He looked more like something I should mess with compared to Sonic, so I ran up to the table they were sitting at. Who are you, Simmy Mans, to know I scream angrily? I'm Shadow Wachowska the Hedgehog. The ultimate life form and Sonic's older brother. So you're Zimha. You were defiantly as loud as Dip said you are, and I've got my eye on you. Shadow said very intensely. This guy was intimating to say the least, so I instinctively backed away. Whatever you say, Shadow, I say this, I left. Dib's point of view. I couldn't believe it. Shadow actually scared Zim. Well, that's the first time I've seen him be scared off like that, Shadow. I said in astonishment. Yeah, I just got made her chills, bro. Sonic added playfully. Yep, it's a gift. Shadow said confidently, and we all laughed in amusement. Sonic's point of view. As we calmed down our louder, I saw Jade and Veronica heading towards us from the corner of my... Oh, here comes trouble, I said begrudgingly. Well, it goes back to two jerks. Jessica said furiously. You know it, so Sonic, are you and Shadow scared because you should be? That was only the beginning. Jade said darkly. And there went my hopes of them learning their lesson. Now don't you remember seeing my dark sonic form last time you messed with my brother, don't you? It's not a threat, by the way. It's a warning. I don't have control over it. So please don't, because despite everything, I never want to hurt you. I sat with his cold seriousness. Well, that means you're a coward and a hypocrite. I mean, didn't you banish Dr. Ivo Robonac? Veronica said victoriously, thinking she won this argument. Though her dad and pretzel mom would have died if I didn't do that, I screamed in frustration at their stubbornness. And besides, there's another alien in our school that you really should be worried about. Trust me, I've been the only thing, up to this point, that's kept the planet safe. His name is Invader Zim. In fact, there he is right now. Dib said as he pointed Zim out to him. I wasn't sure that was the best move. Dib, are you crazy? These girls are more insane than you ever could imagine. They knocked me out and tried to break my legs for crying out loud. I said seriously. Oh, oh, sorry guys, my bad. Dib said as he shrunk in his seat. Then Jade and Veronica ran over to Zim with dark smirks on their faces. Well, so there's another Ellie trying to fit into where he doesn't belong. And get ready to get a test of what we already put Sonic through. Jade said darkly. Veronica looked curiously at Sim's peak. Oh, this is the strangest backpack I've ever seen. Veronica said as she grabbed it. Hey, don't you dare touch my pack. Now leave me alone, you filthy humans. 
since screamed in horror and started to sweep nervously. This commotion caught Sonic and Dib's attention. Oh no, you were right, Sonic. They're gonna kill him. He can only survive for 10 minutes without that pack. Dib said in a panic. This made the group gas. Sonic felt strong anger and allowed lighting to flow through his grills. I'll stop them for no one deserves to die. Sonic said as he got up and headed to where Zim was. Sim's point of view. I started hyperventilating as I was desperately looking for a way to escape these savage girls. Maybe we do what you say, Invader? The black-haired girl said as she pulled my pack off. No, you stupid humans, give it back. I literally died without it. I screamed in absolute dread. Hey, Jade and Veronica. I heard Sonic say, as I saw him with electric blue lighting flowing through his entire body and even his eyes were glowing in an electric blue light with a terrifying look of rage on his face. That's when I realized he must have been the one behind Dr. Robotnik's disappearance. What now, Sonic? You're interrupting our fun. The black-haired girl said angrily. Really. You heard Zim Hill die? Now give it back to him now. Sonic demanded with a very different and angry sounding voice as his eye raises and pupils disappeared as this returned to such a dark blue it was almost black and levitated in the air. I've never seen anything like it. Who careful Sonic? It's happening again. Shadow called Sonic nervously. I was lost on what was going on. What's going on here? I'm confused and freaking out here. I asked desperately hoping to get an answer. I'm Dark Sonic. Veronica, I said gives him his pack back now. Sonic saying in an even more intimating voice than a moment ago. Sonic's point of view. Finally, Veronica returns him's pack to his back. Then I started to float back down to the ground as I felt my eyes and for turning back to normal. However, when I was halfway to landing on the ground, I got a very quick vision of Dr. Eggman. Hi. I sat as I felt a powerful jolt of pain and started plummeting towards the ground. Then Shell caught me in his arms. Thanks, Shadow. I said shakily as tears fell from my eyes. No problem, Sonic. It's going to be okay. Shadow said gently as I could tell it was from the side of me in vulnerable state like this. But can you blame me after seeing that madman in an unexplainable vision? No, Shadow, I saw him in a vision just now. Something's not right about it. I said frantically as my panic state got worse. Sonic, you don't really mean that madman, do you? Shadow asked nervously. I'm afraid I do, Shadow. I replied sadly I hugged him tightly and sobbed uncontrollably.